Every time I close my eyes, I see puzzle. Hello, everybody. Today, I'm going to plan on breaking into this mountain. This awful, awful mountain. I... did I just... actually, hold on. Oh, no, that's right. It's blocked. Damn it. I really thought that was the solution here. Okay, it is this one that I'm missing, I think. I was like watching my video yesterday for angles that made sense and this almost makes sense but it doesn't quite because I block off the only exit I have. Darn it. I really, I really don't know how I'm supposed to do this. Maybe from really far away? No matter where I start, I need a path to be visible from start to finish. So that leaves me with this set of angles over here. Have I tried this set of angles yet? It, the issue is always this thing. So frustrating. This, this hole. Walled off that black piece. Can't go that way. That black and that white are together. There might be a corresponding one from this side. Oh, there isn't, because I can't... <sighs> That's right, I tried that last time. I might be able to do it from here, though. Let's see. If I could crouch, I could do this. Uh, no, can't quite make it there. Oh good, my heater stopped running, so now you'll stop hearing buzzing every time I hold down the push to talk. Isn't this island just so gorgeous? another path here from start to finish, right? Um, but it doesn't quite let me do anything about it. This guy's foot gets in the way a couple of times, too. Here's another path from start to finish. There's a lot that's obstructed here, so I doubt I'll be able to do anything. And there's no actual path here from start to finish, as we determined earlier, because that flipping cord... This last lock is really frustrating. Okay, there's only a couple of angles that I can try this at, right? We determined this one, this one, this one too, I guess.
Well, this one necess necessarily doesn't work. I have no way of isolating this black guy from the other two, so this isn't a possibility. I might have missed something here from this angle. I might have also missed something here from this angle. This doesn't make any sense to me. Might have missed stuff from this angle, who knows. gets in the way. I was, I was like, hold on a second. I can go like this, come around like this. I can't because anyway, but I was going to go like this, come around like this, and then go around like this. <laughs> uh. this that I have to... hold on, I get some other places where I can be higher up. I don't know if that helps at all. What possible paths are there? Just assuming no obstructions. statue was a hint, but I can't even see the thing from here. That is a very dramatic face. want to just break into the mountain here. What if I'm- am I missing something? Do these statues like change with every laser I hit as well? Does that cord need to be powered as well? There are two cords. Hmm. puzzle, there's nothing that happens. I really don't want to give up and go look at the other lasers. It's possible it might th be the cord. I can see it working if this platform is raised up off the ground because there's some places like here where I can, I'll can i actually be able to see under those, in between those guys' feet. Uh, I mean, there's nothing up here that'll power this cord. Is 
someone want to tell me in the comments, don't tell me how to solve it, just tell me if I'm being dumb. Assuming anyone still watches these, lol. Taking the scenic route. Gotta stop and smell the flowers sometimes, you know what I mean? Holy fudging. Where do I see this from? Where, where do, okay, there we go. Oh my gosh. That's a pretty cool place to put that. <laughs> I almost missed it for a second. There's that bird again! I swear, that bird is like the only living creature left on this island. Besides me. What's up here? I don't think I've been up here. That was a different chirp, wasn't it? Ooh, what's this now? still don't understand. Where is that flipping bird? Is that coming from here? It matches the number of, um, the number of bumps. The number of chirps. High, high, low, high? Nope. High, low. That fits. Oh, high, high, low, mid. I, forgot, I didn't realize there was a mid here. Low. Ooh. That's a clever set of puzzles. So. Okay, so that's mid. It starts with mid.
pretty jungle. Ooh, what? What? Stop it! What? What is the beeping now? What does that even mean? I'm guessing those sounds are just a distraction. Ugh, please, come on. You don't, don't you have to make this difficult? This doesn't make any sense. Doesn't match the pattern. It was high, high, low, high. Wait. Beep, beep, beep boop, beep, boop. Boop. There's. There needs to be a thing here. Come on! See that coloring? I'll bet there's some angle from which it looks like a puzzle. I didn't notice that coloring before. Probably need to hop on the boat. I should check that out at some point. This game is just so good to my ADD brain. Cheep, choop, cheep, choop. Understanding.
there's only so many possibilities. I'd really just rather not brute force it though. This has been a frustrating session overall. Hey, I think that's a little platformy thing. Let's go walk on that tree. Wherever it is. I can go this way. What do these puzzles even do? What? I totally had the rule for these puzzles wrong. Remember when we were talking about mental models? You have to pass that square traveling in that direction. That's what the rule is. I thought it was you can't go in front of the arrow. Oh, I can summon the boat from here. I could have summoned the boat this whole time and I just didn't notice. Wow. Get over here, boat. Yeah. See, that's, that's totally got to be a dot puzzle. Let's uh, let's go that way. is really long. I have to start up there. Okay. Just go as slowly as possible. on a moving object so that you can complete one of these puzzles where the whole thing isn't lined up at once. <laughs>
surely. done my job studying this map because look at it, it shows me all of the different symbols this is the bonsai trees this is the start this is the squares this is the symmetric stuff the more symmetric stuff hexagons, trees sun puzzles, reflections and then this like waveformy thing. Tetrominoes. What are these? What are those? Oh, the more more of these square puzzles. It's the uh what's it called? Greenhouse. The stars. I haven't here this is a castle, that doesn't make sense to me. And the windmilly things I really haven't fixed. I really haven't done. Well, let's go back and bash our heads against this thing. I'm almost out of time for today, I think. Doesn't match. I don't understand what's going on. Right. Maybe I should go tackle the windmilly things. I don't know. should go back up the mountain and figure out what I'm missing. Ugh. Puzzle games are a little frustrating if you try to do them on a timer. Like I'm doing. Kind of. Sometimes you're just not making the connections. And sometimes you're just running around like a maniac, not actually accomplishing anything. Oh hey, you know what? I just realized there's another in-world puzzle that I know how to solve now. Um, I think it's over by the ten- Ooh, you know, I never noticed uh, these things. There's stuff in there. How do I even get in there? Okay, this is probably actually a good idea. Just because it gets me, uh... 
see in the entire island. This entire series I've been kind of running from place to place without noticing details like this. The voice recorders, one of the voice recorders, I didn't even notice that until I'd gone past them. Is there another dot puzzle here? Check that out. You can see it's lining up slowly. Where's the start to it? There it is. Let's go a little bit faster. Darn it! I have to go back. Okay, so this is a dot puzzle as well, but I can't solve it yet. There's no puzzle. I picked the wrong path. Ooh, you go through the ship. That is so awesome. I, I guess I just never used the boat to go past this area. This must be excruciating, watching me fail at this simple task. You can skip ahead. It's going to be a couple of minutes. If you haven't already skipped ahead, please skip ahead. Alright, gotta go all the way around. That explains why there's even an option to go all the way around. Really 
put it on my first date. about it. Okay, just another thing I'm gonna come back to. that one. I think that was one. I don't know. How do I need to actually be there first? Son of a gun. That leads to nowhere. Where's the next place I can get off? Yeah, this is this is as far as it goes. Gosh, there's more of these? Holy moly. I don't remember if I left myself a path to the castle. I think I did. A whole bunch of secrets I haven't encountered or figured out. 
I did lead myself back to the castle. Okay, so there are a couple of castle puzzles too that I think I figured out how to do. I might as well give up on trying to figure out how to finish the game as quickly as possible and just kind of play. So it was this one, right? Um, I made the mistake of not isolating all of these. So I think basically I can go like that and then I can go like that. That's what I need to do. Come around like that. realized I wasn't isolating some of them. These two white scores that are here. Hey. If a man, holding a belief which he was taught in childhood or persuaded of afterwards, keeps down and pushes away any doubts which arise about it in his mind, purposely avoids the reading of books and the company of men that call into question or discuss it, and regards as impious those questions which cannot easily be asked without disturbing it, the life of that man is one long sin against mankind. But, says one, I am a busy man. I have no time for the long course of study which would be necessary to make me in any degree a competent judge of certain questions, or even able to understand the nature of the arguments then he should have no time to believe. William K. Clifford, 1874. down there. Don't you love it when there's stuff? Two endpoints. I have a choice now, do I? Alright, let's check out this stuff first. There's just an extra door. Not to a bunch of sun puzzles, I guess. Would you look at that? Um, where do I need to stand? To line that up. Hmm. There's another one here. There's a lot more to explore in this game than I initially gave it credit for. Credit for is what I said. I let go of my push to talk before I finish talking, and also I'm talking really quietly. Okay. Sorry. Let's go back here.
So where's the starting starting point is here. So I want to go like if I want to reach that one. <laughs> like this. No, actually, I want to go like this. And I'd probably rotate this one like that. So this one like that and that one like that. So I want to come around like, oh wait, that doesn't make any sense. Uh, hmm. Can put that one there maybe? Still doesn't make any sense. Well, it does actually. If I want to reach there, then I can put this one like that and that one there. And I can just go up around like that and go there. So let's try that one first. <laughs> It's symmetric. It's symmetric? Fudge nuggets. So I need to pick a symmetric version of this. L there, L there, oh, let's reset this. Let's see my failed solution here. L there and L there doesn't quite work because I can't encompass the whole thing. It can come up like that and like that, but it doesn't cover these two squares. Now on the other hand, since it's symmetric, this makes... actually it just makes this a lot easier because I have a starting point up there too. This is an L here, this is an L here, I just need to go up like this. Oh wait, I can't go up like that. But I can put the L like this, go up like this, come around, and down. I'll run into myself. So I can put the L there, I'll run into myself here, go up, run into myself, and I'm screwed. Huh. So it probably do need to be touching. Let's put them like this instead. One there, and one there. That'll do it. Because I can come up like this, and like that. Okay, so let's... This, and like that. And the other side will come up like... This, up uh, like this, and like that. Okay, that works. Get destroyed. What did I even open? I seriously can't step on that? I'm not gonna screw up the puzzle if I like... stop security guy that is one heck of a temporal juxtaposition the security shades the earpiece and a sword all right so where does this take me another one of these. Well, this time I did this a long time ago, and also the solution is different because it's not symmetric. Well, 
Well, let's uh, let's do this anyway. So solution is different. It's not symmetric, and there's are there different breaks in where the walls are? I'm pretty sure there are. <laughs> that also doesn't work. off from the solution there. It doesn't work because there's shared edges, so the solution has to be different from what it looks like down there. It's kind of just meant to mess with me, I think, to have one big puzzle with all the elements of the small ones in this case. could come all the way down. and solve uh, this part of the puzzle first. In fact, that might be a better solution here. Let's use the same L shape I did over there. So I basically need to do this. That obviously doesn't work, but you probably see what I'm going for.
There's a lot of possibilities here. I don't have to use that same L shape. It is better if I use contiguous shapes like that. put me very close but not quite on the other hand I do that I'm actually going to use the same L shape I did last time. I can't. tried this already. things need to happen here. Somehow. The problem I'm running into here is that if you have a tetromino object with two sides that are exposed, I have no way of covering both those sides unless I can go all the way around it. Which I can actually do rectangle strat. Let's go there.
This is taxing my short-term memory. Should have taken a nap or something before I decided to do this. So I was going to say, this part of the maze can also be covered like this. But it would require me to have a way back down here. Which I don't think works, because I, there's there's no way I can cover this guy. So ideally I want to lump all three of these into one big mega shape of some kind. I want to come here, and that, that shape needs to be piled up against the edge somehow. Oh, hold on. I can put this guy wherever I want. Because I can put that, like, there or something. L piece, or heck, I can even extend them out. I can put the L piece there. <laughs> That'll do it. So I can put the L piece there. I can put the four piece there. Um, or, heck, even here. But I can put the four piece there. And I can put the third L piece right there. And then I can come across the entire thing like this. So that will work. Did I leave myself enough space for that? I think I did. Let's go back up here. So, L piece like that, and the four piece like that, and then the last L piece like this. Yay! What did that accomplish now? Nothing. The laser's already on. That would have probably also just turned on the laser. Frick! <laughs> well, that was a supreme waste of time. But I did it, I guess. Alright, so that was this gate over here. Um, the other thing is, though, this was the only way to get... out here, I think. No, it's not. It's, this place is open to... other areas, I think. Oh. In a sense, what modern physics is to the history of Western thought, Zen is to the development of the Eastern worldview, the ultimate refinement of more than 2,000 years of incisive debate, discussion, and critical development. Yet the difference between the two could hardly be more marked. Whereas physics is interested above all in theories, concepts, and formulas, Zen values only the concrete and the simple. Zen wants facts, not in the Western sense of things that are measurable and numerical, which are in fact abstractions, but as living, immediate, and tangible. Its approach to understanding is not to theorize, because it recognizes that previously accumulated ideas and knowledge, in other words, memories of all kinds, block the direct perception of reality. 
Therefore, Zen adopts an unusual approach. Its buildup involves language, which is unavoidable. Any method, even if it turns out to be an anti-method, has first to convey some background in order to be effective. But the way Zen uses language is always to point beyond language, beyond concepts to the concrete. David Darling, is this another 1996. Laser? It's autumn here. It's so pretty. I like this view. Same pool as the waterfall, I think. Just right from the other side. I did not notice these fountains before. So there's a laser in here that I have no idea how to turn on. Uh oh, okay. Follow the wires, kiddo. Follow the wires. Wherever that wire goes. Where does this wire go? It just kind of sinks into the ground. Oh, and then it goes in there. Yep, I'm gonna have to solve these odd puzzly things. What's this now? Hey! Oh, this is easy. GG. Oh, okay. All of these are easy. Except for the fact that as soon as I click on it, it puts me right next to it. Stupid thing. Oh. Clever. You're gonna make me work for it every time, aren't you, Jonathan Blow? He's asking, how good are your mental filters? Can you filter out that grid of shadows from the things that are more not grid-like? Like this, I guess? No? Shape of the branches. <laughs> uh, that was a good touch. Gonna make me work. 
for this. We turned on two things. I don't think I've ever had that happen before. Well, um... Now I understand what the shadows over there were about. Okay, so he wants to go up like that, come down like that, around like that, and then up. tell you ladies and gentlemen there's some fun stuff right here some really f no, I was doing that right I think it's misaligned because the pattern definitely continues over there so over one down looks like over two then up then over then over this way then over here then the pattern continues by going up around over and son of a gun no It's misaligned by two, so that that's actually right there. I think that's, that's probably my mistake. Down one, down another, up, over, over, over another. It's misaligned by two, over another, over here, and then all the way back. There we go. Oh my gosh, okay. So down all the way one, over one down, over, over. Do they go down immediately? No. puzzle session. So I'm pretty sure this is a solution to this right here, given how they're lined up. Where's the solution to this guy? Actually, what I need to do is figure out what's casting this shadow. It's just the, this tree. So I need to get a little look at this tree from somewhere? Oh no, there it is. It's very stretched out. Um, over one, up one, around. Another notch, then up. Hmm. 
in order for this to be here. like it has to go up first, right? When it comes down like this, over like that, then it has to go around and then there's a little notch and set that nice. front of it. I want to solve it from here. Pretty good, huh? Where does this green wire even go? Okay, so there's two wires that lead me to this door, and they both need to be open before I can see the pattern of shadows. Is that right? So I presume if I'm good enough at shadows, I could probably just solve this right now. Should I do it? It's gonna be like that puzzle in town. Let's do it. Let's do it. Um, so, what leaves are covered by shadows? The flare. Of the background is really getting to me here. It's a very pretty game, Jonathan Blow, but I don't need this much graphics. Um, there's a shadow on that leaf. Now, where does that leaf end up? Shadow on that leaf, on that leaf, on that leaf, on that leaf, on this leaf, kind of stretching through here. I really want to do this without actually learning or actually finishing the puzzles just as a challenge. I'm gonna go back and finish them at some point. This leaf. It is one, two, three, four, five, six down from the top. Or alternatively just underneath this topmost branch. So topmost branch right there, I think. Yep. So that's that leaf right there is a blockage. Okay. <laughs> and I said I'd do this without notes, so I can't like draw this anywhere and this would be possible if I just drew it out. Okay, so again, there. Um which corresponds to right there. And what does the shadow look like exactly? As far from that leaf, it just kind of comes across like that, I think. It's stretching all the way down like that. There's a branch over there. That branch just comes all the way up like this. 
All right, now let's look at the bottommost branch and this pattern of leaves. There's one there, there's one there. So this leaf, this is the bottommost branch, right? There's the bottom leaf. There is an obstruction there. There is a branch that comes across. The next leaf up, there is also a branch that comes across. Like that. So if both of these are obstructed, then whatever my pattern is, when it comes over here, I'll probably just loop around and come down to the exit. So there's only stuff I need to worry about up here. I'm going to fail this, probably. <laughs> but it was fun trying. Bottom leaf, obstructed. Top leaf, obstructed. Except for right here. So it's possible I might loop all the way around down like this. Because there isn't a branch, because there's this whole empty area over here. And there's just these two branches, which I think the shadow for them, too, comes from up top here. Like this. So there's this whole empty area, so I think... I'm probably coming up like this. Oh wait, excuse me, sorry, there's a branch there, a branch there. Which means I'm coming like this, then going up, then coming around, and then over here and down. Whee, okay. Um. How far out can I go is another question. I'm pretty sure this is obstructed, actually. I need to figure out the path up there. Challenge me. Kind of just guessing. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> would have been too good. I, I'm hesitant to give this up just because I'm like, this is, would be such a cool thing to do if I could solve this puzzle without even needing to open the second door. Hmm. I feel like I've spent more than an hour already here. Even close to one and a half hours. Gosh, I've been playing for ages at this point. Right. It's part of the issue here. It's slightly blurry, it keeps making me want to push in my glasses because of the flare on the screen. The glasses, my eyes. The glasses do nothing. Alright. I had worked some of this out, right? There is an obstruction there, I think. Which means I probably actually need to come down like that. So let's try that. Up like this, then down like that. And over here? Maybe? Like this? Fine, I'll go open the door.
There's a break in the path. Do you want to bet that's it? <laughs> Gosh. Wait, was that the last of them? It was. Ugh. I was kind of hoping... Oh, that's what I was messing up. The half that is obscured by shadows, I treat like it's obscured by shadows. And the half that... Ugh. Okay, I wouldn't have gotten that, because I wouldn't have thought to do that. Ugh. Darn it. Well, there's another laser for you. recording this on a Friday in case you're wondering how the hell I have so much time on my hand and I don't have a shift tomorrow morning. It's beautiful. I'm gonna break this up actually right now. Um, let's take a screenshot of that laser over there. I'll continue recording later. Nice. All right. I'll catch you next time, you lovable nerds.